Patrick Chan, just 19 years old, won the silver at last year's Worlds and had high hopes and high expectations for landing on the podium in Vancouver in his home country, home Olympics, but perhaps the pressure, youth, any combination, right, Paul? He uh, ended up fifth in Vancouver, but said he learned so much from that experience. And Well, many people thought he was overmarked at fifth with the trouble that he had on his triple axles, but if he can conquer the triple axle, the rest of his skating is quite remarkable. Patrick Chan will not try a quad in this program. He opens instead with a triple axle. Put down to a double toe loop. We see minus grades of execution for that. Very nice height. Triple Lutz. Just not over his skate perfectly on these jumps tonight. Second triple axle attempt. This season has really posed a number of challenges for Patrick Chan. He got sick at the beginning of the season. Then he was injured. Coaching change. And then competed at a home Olympics. It's a lot to digest. <laughs> He really reworked his triple axle as well, working more, much more on the skid takeoff. Spin showing very good positions, speed. Fabulous speed and edge work in this step sequence. Just amazing transitions from one edge to the other and turning both ways.
Patrick Chan came into these world championships saying that he wanted to go out with a bang. Perhaps not the sound he was hoping for. He looks uh, disappointed with that performance, but we will Canada. find out if Patrick he Chung. did enough to land on the podium. Two skaters remaining when we return to our live coverage of the men's free skate. Patrick Chan with a 159.42 for his free skate, and that is very close to his personal best, which he got at the Olympics in Vancouver, and that will put him above Brian Joubert. Patrick Chan moves into first place for the moment, two skaters remaining. Good though, felt really good. 